Hi guys! Thanks for watching my other video. I hope you thought that it was super cool, all of the things um, that we just learned about soil. Things that I bet you never knew before, things that I never knew before until I was teaching preschool and I learned about it, so it's pretty cool. Um, I have Diary of a Worm to read to you since we just learned about how important worms are in the soil. And this is just, it's just a pretend book because worms can't really write to have diaries. But this is just a funny book about, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to be a worm. So let's watch it and see. Now, this, remember, it's called Diary of a Worm. So this book is written like a diary. So it's kind of like a diary, if you don't know what it is, it's like a journal or like a page where you write down what happened that day so it sometimes says like dear diary today is friday and i went to school and then i played at my friend's house so his instead of saying dear diary today is friday he just says the date so he says the date is march that's the month we have march on our calendar at school march 20th that means day number 20 in march okay we're ready to read now March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. He says, must make tunnel. Help earth breathe. <gasps> help earth breathe? Just learned about how water can go through these tunnels to help plants. You think maybe air could go through those tunnels too, just like water? It sounds like it can. And number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. <laughs> Did you know that worms eat everything? They even eat trash. March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. All of his legs got stuck. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. He says, I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. So look, they're trying to dig. That shovel is trying to find worms in the ground to feed to the fish. And they said, I don't think so. We're going to make our tunnels deeper today. His grandpa says, uh, did you guys hear something? April 10th. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. So we spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. They say, She's going to stomp on us. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework. Ten times. But when I was finished, I ate that too. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't even hear me coming, and I wiggled up right between them, and they screamed. I love it when they do that. May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said, good morning, to the very first aunt that I saw. There were 600 more of them in line. I stood there all day. He says, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Howdy. Good morning. Oof. It's a lot of people to say good morning to. May 8th. I had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May 15th. 
I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me that you need legs to be cool, and then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th. I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? May 28th. Last night I went to the school dance. And it says, you put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And then he says, uh, that's all we could do. Because they don't have arms or legs to put in for the hokey pokey. Ha <laughs> ha. June 5th. Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. Look, they don't even have to put theirs on string like beads to make a necklace. Just one macaroni fits on them. He says, I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Oh, does that sound like he's being nice to his sister? I don't think so. Spider thought that was really funny, but Mom did not. It is kind of true, though. Worms, they look the same on the front and end. A worm in really true life, it's hard to tell. I don't know which way their head and their bum is sometimes. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but uh, somebody's got to do it. July 28th. Three things I do not like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew bubblegum. Number two, I can't have a dog. And number three, all of that homework. It says, digging, learn about soil, uh, compost 101. That's when they eat the old food that helps make the soil healthy. June or July 29th, three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. The dentist says, well, no cavities. Um, there's no teeth either. Number two, I never get in trouble for tra tracking mud through the house. And number three, I never have to take a bath. August 1st. Oh, look at all these worm tunnels he's been digging. August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But, like Mom always says, the Earth... It never forgets that we're here. The end. Hey, I hope that you liked our lesson about soil today and learning about worms. I think it's super, super cool. Um, I hope you remembered about pyrite because that's something cool. I don't even know if your mom and dads know that. They might think you're pretty smart if you tell them what pyrite is. Um, I also put up another link for a video about worms. It's not my video, it's just an extra video I found that kind of um, talks to you about the different parts of a worm and tells you some really cool things that I had never heard before. So if you want to learn a little bit more about worms, you can do that. And if you don't, then you can go do the rest of your learning activities for the day. See ya.